Well, hello there. I decided, since I was... Oh, no, I was not saying hello to you. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. This is awkward. Yeah, she's just giving me the stare down. She's kind of pretending like she's looking off into the distance, but I know. I know, deep down inside, the thoughts of hatred are boiling. May I speak with you? Yeah, you can, you can speak mm -hmm. with me. Yes, yes, I'm sure you've got something exceedingly important to say. But the that is not how you treat the Archmage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she was talking to her. Even more awkward. Not as awkward as the intro to this video, which, you know, that was it. I'm sorry. I really shouldn't have done that. But anyway, yeah, I decided to uh, start off the next video right where we left off, and we're about to get 100 Conjuration. Um, this was not even planned. Guys, please hold your applause. But I'm now 100 Conjuration, and I should now rest and meditate on what I've learned. And since we're now the Archmage, we can go sleep in his bed. Oh yeah! What do you think about that? What do you have to say about me sleeping in the Archmage's bed? It's actually really weird to say that, like, I'm gonna go sleep in the Archmage's bed. I mean, because it sounds like y you're not the Archmage, and you're gonna go sleep in the guy who is the Archmage's bed, but actually you are the Archmage, so it's technically okay. But anyway, I'm gonna up my endurance and my... no, no, yes. There we go. Even though the other two gave plus three, willpower and agility are just far more useful for me and my character build. Look, there's a naked old man! He's actually not naked, thanks to this, you know, very well thought of loincloth by Bethesda. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate the gesture. But, um, we can now go into the... We can't go into the Imperial Ori. I'm the Archmage! Why won't you let me in? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've wasted so much time already. So, we need to go to Echo Cave, which I did discover off-camera. I didn't even mean to discover it. I didn't discover it just now off-camera. I discovered it a few days ago off-camera. Yo! Yo, man. You dare to approach Kim Worms? <laughs> yes, I do, in fact. Do I kill you now? Bye! See ya! Die. Who's Bolor Savo? And wh why are you telling me you dare to approach the King of Worms? Why aren't you just like, dude, you know, the King of Worms, he's kind of he's kind of busy right now. He's got a really tight schedule, all the killing people and raising the dead and basically being a jerk face. Really kind of eats up on one's social life, and you don't have a lot of time for a whole lot else. But, regardless, we're now in Echo Cave, which you can't get into before starting this quest. It's physically impossible because that guy that we just um, beat the living out of um, he is actually the only person in the game who drops the echo cave key and he doesn't appear until you start this quest so yep oh cool I'm an apprentice at blocking blocking with your shield or weapon no longer drains fatigue well that's not very useful I want to up unlock the ability that makes me um, be able to like stagger opponents if they if they get blocked well, they already get staggered sometimes, but, like, get staggered even more so. Like, to the point where they fall over. I think you can do that in this game. I'm not 100% sure. That might be Skyrim that I'm thinking of. Again, I have played Skyrim, um, probably not more than Oblivion. I've played Oblivion more, but I have played Skyrim more recently, so... Skyrim is going to be fresher on my mind. Speaking of Skyrim... I really hope my PC is good enough to run Skyrim, because, you know, the next game I want to do after Oblivion is probably going to be Skyrim, because I really do enjoy that game a lot. Not as much as this game, but I do love Skyrim. But, I mean, saying I don't enjoy Skyrim as much as I enjoy Oblivion is like saying I don't enjoy Frosted Flakes as much as I enjoy Apple Jacks. That's true. I mean, they're both incredibly delicious cereals, and I love both of them. I just like Apple Jacks a bit more. And same goes with Oblivion and Skyrim. I love Skyrim, I just love Oblivion a little bit more. Because I think it's a much deeper game, and there's just a lot more to it than Skyrim. I don't. I think with Skyrim, the graphics are a lot better, the world looks a lot nicer, you know, the, there's a lot of, you know, good stuff in there, but there's just a little less variety with the creatures, the dungeons. Um, even though in Oblivion the dungeons all look the same, um, they don't feel the same, and they're also quite often bigger. So, you know, with that being said, you don't just fight the same undead creatures every time you go into any every single dungeon. 
like you do in Skyrim and Oblivion. In this game, you might fight necromancers if you go in a cave, you might fight undead skeletons, you might fight zombies, you might fight uh, marauders, you might fight bandits, there's a whole bunch of different things you can fight. Um, and then if you go, if you play the uh, Shivering Isles, there's a vast variety of different monsters. So, anyway, I just think that this game has a lot more variety than Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim does have one really cool expansion, though. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Dragonborn. I've played the Dragonborn Skyrim expansion, and that one is awesome. I love the Dragonborn Skyrim expansion. And great, we have ghosts. I did not want to kill ghosts, and I'm not going to be able to use Wizard's Fury against them, because they're resistant against cold spells, so it's going to be more effective to use... Uh, I don't know about that. I think it's actually still going to be more effective to use um, this. The frost damage doesn't hurt them, but it also does electric and fire damage, which does hurt them. And I somehow resisted frost damage, and holy crap! I'm nearly dead. Wow. Somehow, these guys are just completely owning me. And uh, what I'm going to do here is use some of my Mel Welkin Stones. I mean, I have them, so I might as well use them. I use Welkin Stone, and its power has now decreased. Actually, its power is now gone. Same thing. Uh, I need to do a better job of dodging their attacks. Die, please. Please die. Thank you. You're not dying fast enough. Die more. Why are there so many ghosts? I don't like ghosts. Haven't you not realized that? Haven't you not? That's a double negative. Um, have you not realized that yet, game? I, I'm not a big fan of the ghosts. I mean, the zombies, they're alright. The skeletons, okay. The necromancers, yes, I like fighting them. But the ghosts, eh, not so much. Is he healing himself? Really? I don't need that right now. I do not need that in my life. Okay, skeleton hero, it's your turn. Let's see how much of a hero you are now when faced with my wrath. Okay. That was a bit anticlimactic. The wrath is coming. Just wait for it. Wait for it. The wrath is still coming. It's on its way. It's almost here. But yeah, I'm 100 conjuration now. In case you didn't notice. Which means I, for one, need to get a slightly better summon than the scamp. You know, I, I can now summon, like, Dremora Lords and awesome stuff like that. Actually, I don't think I can summon Dremora Lords because I'm not going to have enough Magicka points to do it. You need, like, 500 Magicka or something ridiculous to be able to summon a Dremora Lord. But when you can, they are awesome. They are a very, very good summon. Uh, Storm Atronox, I believe, are the best summon in a game. I'm not sure if Dremora Lord or Storm Atronach is the best. I think you need 100 uh, Conjuration for both of them. Um, but anyway, Steaky Mode activated. And no more ghosts, hopefully. There's a Necromancer. Necromancers and ghosts are you know, not exactly the same thing, but hopefully this means there will be slightly less ghosts in the future. Slightly less ghosts is, you know, still not as good as no ghosts, but we'll we'll just hope for the best. Alright. There is a severe lack of chests in this dungeon. I need more of them. I need more chests in my life. Really? You summoned that zombie and... Uh, just stop running. You coward. Alright. Do you have anything good on you? I know you have a glass maze, but I don't want it. it weighs too many pounds. If it didn't weigh 35 pounds, I'd be glad to take it, but it weighs... 35 pounds, that's a little ridiculous. And yeah, as you might have noticed, I have kind of fallen in love with the word ridiculous as of late. I've been using it quite often. I've just been letting fly. Let's rest. And level up. Oh. Well, that was embarrassing. I gotta remember to cut that part out of the video. <laughs> I thought I, I was due for a level up. Oh yeah, I forgot we leveled up at the, um, the Mages Guild, so I wasn't due for a level up in fact. Anyway, all right. So let's let's uh, continue on to this dungeon, and eventually we'll find the King of Worms, and we'll we will end him. Is this King of Worms? Excuse me, sir. Are you the King of Worms? I think this is actually the King of Worms. Are you the King of Worms? Show me your worms. Oh, this is not <laughs> again. Embarrassing. I know the King of Worms is like. He, you would expect him to be some kind of wormy, hellish abomination, but no, he's just a regular-looking dude with a staff. 
And I think that's him. Are you the Worm King? Yeah, I think that's the Worm King. No, that might just be an Ackermancer. Never mind. Sorry, I mistook you for the King of Worms. I, I'm so sorry about this. This was this has been a bad day. Staff of Lightning. But yeah, I had a very long day at work today, as you can probably tell. And when I get uh, when I have a long day, I tend to get tired. And when I get tired, I tend to get a little silly and loopy and probably not the most fun person to be around. But um, you know, I'm just trying to let it fly. The commentary at the moment and really not worry too much about what other people think. Chameleon Caress. I will take that, because it's worth a fair amount of gold. You know what? I just remembered. I need to repair my armors. Because they're probably degrading a little bit. Not as much as I thought. My armor go decreased, getting closer to that 50 armor that I so desperately want and need and desire. So, Journeyman Alembic. I already have one. Don't need another one. What I really need is the Expert Alembic, but this game does not want to give me one for some reason. Um, let's see. Armorer. 36 armor. Really, it's taking forever. And I'm only 31 athletics. Oh, that's just depressing. I thought I would be like 100 athletics by now with all the running around I've been. I'm about to level up. I'm about to be 32 athletics. Not like that's going to help a whole lot. Ooh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, he lives here. Really, you'd live in this creepy place? I don't know about that. That's a little... That's a little disturbing. My marksman increased. I like that. I'd like to see that vest of warding. Oh. Always nice to see an enchanted item that doesn't weigh very much. Really? You too? Okay, I will end you. I will end your day. Okay, take her out. Please die. One more arrow. You're done. Left... All these uh, necromancers in this cave are dropping staffs. I'm kind of liking it a little bit. I'm over-encumbered, really? Oh, that's depressing. What can I drop? That's not very important to me. Um, what can I drop? What's worth a ton? Or what weighs a ton? Dwarven Greaves. Do I really need pants right now? I don't even know how badly I need pants. Um... Anything in here doesn't look like it. You know, I'm just going to drop my Dwarven Greaves. Because I have some pretty good loot on me, and I don't really want to get rid of it. So, you know, I mean, they don't really... Dwarven Greaves don't really help that much, so... And I don't need pants. I can just run around pantsless. That's fine. I could try out the Archmage's Robe. Oh, it doesn't have any enchantments on it? What? I swear. There was, like, a really, really good robe that you get at the end of the Mage's Guild... That has some beast enchantments on it. Maybe that's later. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I swear, though, you got, like, the Archmage's Robe, and it had absolutely beast enchantments, but whatever. We'll have to wait for a while to get the robe that we truly desire. All right, sneaking, sneaking. Really? A ghost? I don't like ghosts. I thought we, I thought we kind of established this already, but whatever. I don't know why they turn invisible. I mean, what's the point? What is honestly the point? And he, he's going to, like, die in one more hit, so there's no point in even wasting a Welkin Stone at this point. Just wait a little bit till my Majika recharges. Yeah, you can't hit me from behind here. No point trying. There you go. You're dead. Thank you for the Ectoplasm. I will take it. Really? Oh, I hate Faded Race. Um... I do have some staffs on me. I have a dagger of freezing, frost damage, 15 points on strike. Um, I could try that out, but I think I'm just going to go with the destruction. Let's try out this spell on Wraith. Oh my goodness, this guy has so much health. Is this a faded Wraith, or is this like an even higher level one? It might be an even higher level one, because this guy is a toughie. Oh my goodness, I'm paralyzed and silenced. Or no, I'm over encumbered, that's what it is. My endurance was more than just drained, it was mega drained. And I'm silenced right now. Um, I do have the ease burden that I will use as soon as I become unsilenced. Luckily this guy isn't owning me too much. Really, that didn't even work. Oh, he, I guess he just forgot about me now. That's that's fine. <laughs> and I'm silenced again, and I'm still over encumbered. This is annoying. I'm sorry, guys. There's not really a whole lot I can do about it. 
these guys have some really devastating spells that can kind of destroy you a bit. Anyway, continue on. Please, be oh, another ghost. Yeah, it's better than a wraith, I guess. I'd much, much rather fight a ghost than a wraith. And we'll use up another Welkin Stone because I have places to be and things to do. I don't really, but I mean, I have better things to do than just fighting ghosts. Is that ghost dead? Yeah, he is. Alright. Skeleton hero, take you out. What was with the vast variety of, like, undead creatures in this in this dungeon? That's a bit weird. If you time it really well, you can, like, raise your shield just as he swings and get a nice little block in and then get, like, three hits in. So that's always nice. And he's dead. He had an enchanted dwarf. Oh, I thought that was an enchanted battle axe, but it's not. Wrong spell. Anything over here? Nope. I should probably be a little bit cautious because I don't want to die. Uh, that would be really bad. I'm going to try my best to avoid death. If I come into a situation that uh, is really dangerous, I will do my best to try to save really quickly. Because that would be infuriating for both me and you guys if I died and had to do this over again. I don't want to do it over again. I don't want you guys to have to watch it over again. Let's just say that. Okay, where is this king of worms? The wormy man. The wormy ruler. A couple necromancers here. They're just kind of chilling. Wow, I one-shotted her. What a beast. I wonder if my arrow damage went up with the marksman uh, skill increase. Uh, steel, let's check that really quick. Steel arrows were at 4 damage each. And they're still at 4 damage each. So, um, finally athletics increased. It was like almost ready to increase forever. But yeah, as your marksman skill increases, your damage with certain types of arrows it does increase eventually. Um, but it probably won't for a while still. So, I am running dangerously low on arrows though. So, I might have to switch over to just going full out sword uh, pretty soon here. Any chests? Not that I can see. Alright, so I think there's two paths I can continue down. I'm guessing that, yeah, this is the way we need to go. And hopefully we finally get to fight the Wormy Man. Echo Necromancer's Chamber. Okay, this sounds like it's a good place to save. I don't know how tough the Worm King is, because I have fought him a couple times before, but I was playing, uh, for one, on a much lower difficulty, and for two, I had much, much better gear the last two times I fought the Wormy King. Last time I fought him, I had, like, uh, a glass longsword with some awesome enchantments on it. It was like 40 fire damage on strike, and yeah, that sounds like a lot, but there are ways to uh, get some really good enchantments on stuff, and that's what I did. But yeah. Yeah, last time I was here, I basically had much better weapons. This guy would stop running. Yeah, this is where the Wormy King is. Okay, he's on this island. Greater Staff of Corrosion. I'm not even going to bother jumping down there to loot. That is the Wormy King right there. But yeah, as you can tell, he just looks like a regular old dude. Really? Do I have to go talk to him before I can fight him? I think that might be the case. I'm going to quickly loot his chest. <laughs> I'm sorry, Worm King. The fight with you can wait. I need to loot your chests. Yeah, he's not attacking me, so I think I have to talk to him first. But... Um, I believe he drops a key for one of these chests. Oh, okay. I, see Bolor was unsuccessful in I don't know what Mana Marco is. I'm, I have, but here... I'll never help you. What? Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. If he's going to be using a... a what, steel dagger against me? Yeah, I'm not too worried if you're going to be using a steel dagger against me. It doesn't concern me that much. But this game kind of fails when it comes to boss fights because a lot of times you can just be fighting regular monsters in the overworld and they'll be ten times stronger than this guy ever will be. Speaking of that, I'm actually almost dead. Or not almost dead, but I'm, you know, nearing that point. Do your worst. I'm trying. Believe me, I am trying to do my worst. You don't need to encourage me. I mean, you're kind of my enemy, so it'd be best to not encourage me to do that, but whatever. But yeah, he does also have some unique robes, If so if you want his robes, go ahead and take them. Just a regular old silver dagger. I guess steel, but 
Staff of Worms. Uh, basically, this thing uh, can, you know, reanimate dead monsters if you're into that sort of thing. So, if you are, go for it. Crappy, crappy loot. Crappy, crappy loot. Really? Are you for serious right now? <laughs> Let's see. I think I have some troll fat on me that I can drop. No, I don't. Do I have anything that weighs? Eh. 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 Just eat that bone meal. Eat the bone meal, man. A uh, potion of feather. A book. I'm not sure if that's a skill book or not. We'll read it. And then drop it. You are a skill book. A restoration skill book. At that. That's decent. Um, what else can I drop? Are there any really crappy potions that I have? Ooh, these are some nice high valued potions. I gotta have some crappy ones though. Uh, weak potion of frost shield. Get out of my life. Weak potions of sorcery. Those look like the cheapest ones that I have. Um, I know what I can do. Get out of my life. There we go. We're good. We good. Okay, anything else chest wise? don't think so. So the chests were very disappointing, but uh, this does mean that the Mage's Guild is complete, which is not disappointing. Uh, not sure if there's a chest over on the island or not. I actually think there is, but I don't really want to go over there. Whatever. We'll just exit the dungeon now. Okay, so after a long and confusing walk through that cave, I finally made it out victorious, and I'm here at the Mage's Guild to announce my victory. Archmage. I have returned. Marco has been the King of Worms is no more. That is correct. As the correct. Archmage, you are entitled to... Juliana Fannis has long served Archmage Trap. Juliana Fannis? Okay. What do I do? Am I over-encumbered? I am over-encumbered. <laughs> So obviously I have to go sell some stuff now, but I think he gave me a reward. Um, trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, he gave me the Archmage's robes, which again I th could have sworn they had enchantments on them, but I guess they don't. Anyway, that's really annoying. Um, so I do have obviously quite a bit of stuff to sell, and I am gonna go do that. Um, quite a bit of loot and stuff, and so I should be able to get a fair amount of gold now. First, let's use our ever-present and trusty repair hammers. Gotta get up to that armor level that I need pretty soon, but anyway, um, I guess we could go... What can what, I, do what, I need to talk to her? What yeah. Can I help you? The ingredient oh, correction. Yes. Archmage Traven was quite... I finally accommodated him by enchant... One... And very special quest. I didn't even read what she said, but oh, Garadin's tears. Okay. I guess I can sell stuff to her. Hey, that's pretty cool. She only has 15 gold to work with. Ugh. That's crappy. Never mind. Did, but does she have? Oh, a novice mortar and pestle. I was gonna say, that's not cool. Okay, so let's go check out this chest. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the rewards, obviously. We just completed the Mage's Guild. We gotta show the rewards for the Mage's Guild. Um, so this is the Archmage's like table thing. A couple of scrolls on it. Absorb agility, I'll take them, why not? Can't see a good reason not to. So I didn't actually know about this Archmage's chest thing, or at least I forgot about it. But I guess if you put alchemy ingredients in here and wait overnight, it doubles them or something? I don't know. Something like that. Let's try it out. Dragon's Tongue. So what do I do? Do I like wait? Let's try waiting a day. Let's try sleeping a day. Sleeping is more fun than waiting. Sleep a day, and what does it double the ingredients or something like that? I don't know. I honest, I shouldn't have skipped through that text, but I did. Nothing we can do about it now. But I think it doubles whatever ingredients you put in there, which is pretty useful, especially if you have some like rare stuff like frost salts, and those are pretty rare, and you want to double them. You could just put them in that chest. Okay, come on, hurry up. It doesn't take this long to sleep, really. Yeah, okay. Oh, 11 dragon's tongue. It put... Wow, it gave me 10 free dragon's tongues. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so you can just put stuff in there and get more alchemy ingredients if you're into that sort of thing. Um, Song of Horamir. Yeah. Not sure what that's all about, but anyway, this is the good stuff. So, enchantment 
thing. You can enchant your items. If I wanted to enchant this glass bow, bow, I could. I put the bow in here. I put the greater soul gem in there, and then I want to. I can put whatever effect I want in here. So, example, if I wanted a bow with fire damage, um, and you obviously it, it costs a certain amount of money to do this, but so. There are limits to this, obviously, but you can't just do as much as you want. But, for example, 15 fire damage for 3... No, we can't do 3 for 2 seconds. So that would be, effectively, 30 fire damage. Um, and we could enchant that and use the Greater Soul Gem, and it would cost me 480 gold, and I could enchant that. I'm not going to, because if I enchanted the item, I wouldn't be able to repair it. But anyway, and then there's a Nurn Root here. Oh, I wonder if you can use Nurn Roots with this chest. Let's try that. That would be extremely overpowered. But if you could, we're going to try that. That is so overpowered if you can do that. But this is the good one. The Altar of Spellmaking. So, this is what you want. Disintegrate Armor on Self. And you want... This spell you guys really, really want to get this spell will help you train your armor much faster so this is the main reward for the mage's guild in my opinion so we'll do disintegrate armor fifteen points on self and it's gonna cost us eh, fifty two magicka we want to be able to spam this for so disintegrate armor ten points for three seconds so it's gonna disintegrate, go, disintegrate our armor by thirty points every time it casts this so this spell is oh we'll name it break armor american spelling of armor like a boss but anyway disintegrate armor 10 points for 30 seconds or 30 seconds on self so we create this spell and now we can use this spell and this is how we're going to trade train our armor so i'm going to bind this to 7 cuz we're never going to need that again so this is going to uh train our destruction and our armor but anyway as you can see um I'll show you how this works. Repair all my armor up to full. And then when I use the spell, just use it a few times. Feel the effects of it. And my armor should be breaking if all goes well. And now we can repair our armor again. See? It doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, I think I'm going to have to create a stronger version of this spell so it really uh, breaks our armor a little more. But basically you would just want to like spam this while you're walking around. Um, and yeah, your armor is going to break and it's going to be great. But anyway, uh, novice, alumic, really typical. That's about all there is. Oh, we're going to wait and see if this chest works with Nurn Roots. Again, I would be very, very surprised if it works with Nurn Roots because they're related to a quest. So if you can duplicate Nurn Roots in the, this chest, that would be so incredibly overpowered. Um, but maybe you can. We'll try it out. That would be a very, very easy way to complete the full Nurn Root quest. And if I had known about this, I would have done the full Nurn Root quest before, if this works at all. That is, so... Anyway, moment of truth. Let's check the enchanted ta chest. Nope, it does not work with Nurn Roots. So, anyway, um, and this this spell again, since it is since corrode armor is a destruction spell, it also trains your destruction as well. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is make it do. I think I might remake this spell, but make it not an overtime effect, so I can just spam it, or at least make it for like two seconds. What about this? 20 points for 2 seconds on self. I think the old one had 15 points for 3 seconds. Eh. I don't know. I will, we'll just stick with this spell and see what, how it works. And if I really don't like it, I can always come back and make another one. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned to the next episode. And yes, the Mage's Guild is now complete. Hallelujah. Farewell.